there is more to managing your diabetes successfully than simply keeping an eye on your blood sugar levels. It is crucial to develop healthy behaviors that not only to improve your health, but also to make it simpler for you to manage diabetes. Exercise, food planning, maintaining adequate hydration, monitoring blood sugar levels on a regular basis, and emotional and stress management are the five healthy behaviors that are shared by all diabetics who are successful. We'll talk about this in detail. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you how to now. Exercising can be an intimidating prospect for those with diabetes, but I'm here to show you that it doesn't have to be. In one of the latest videos, we actually shared how 15 seconds of eccentric exercise can drop your blood sugar by 50 points. Well, sounds too good to be true? Well, then try me. Just as with anything in life, when it comes to maintaining a stable blood sugar levels, consistency is key. And you will find that just a few seconds of exercise every day yields really positive results. So find that video, search for Sugar MD and exercise. Feel free to check out my other videos about the technique and how to do it. It may just change the way you think about diabetes management. Also, have you ever experienced the feeling of having a huge meal and regretting it later or immediately after? Well, if you have diabetes, this feeling can become dangerous if your blood sugar spikes and you'll be like depressed about it. Therefore, one of the most important habits for diabetics to make is keeping track of meals and food consumption through food and meal planning. Now, planning ahead makes it so much easier to stay within recommended glucose levels. I would say start by using food logging tools like you can use paper diaries or apps that can track like Sugar MD app, right? You can, on our app, you know that you can talk to a coach as well. Uh, and that's for free. I would say get yourself organized with grocery lists and start doing some meal plans, including nutrient-dense foods coming from all five groups like fruits, vegetables, uh, a little bit of a whole grain, not too much, lean protein, uh, and some dairy. Don't overcomplicate things. Make sure to create simple plans that help maintain healthy blood sugar levels while accounting for snacks and special occasions. Making use of the right foods can be life-changing, trust me. If you aren't monitoring your blood sugar levels, that's another problem that I see a lot. You might as well be speeding without keeping an eye on your speedometer. Well, sure, some people may think that they can feel when their glucose levels are too high or too low, my patients will tell me that, oh, I know when it's high and slow. But how reliable is that? Not checking your blood sugar isn't just a matter of being irresponsible. It could be putting your health in danger. So what if you didn't feel it, right? So stay ahead of the game by investing in a glucometer or a continuous glucose meter, whatever you like, whatever you can afford, but testing regularly. It will save you from worrying about future consequences. If you live with diabetes, maintaining adequate hydration is another one. It's very essential part of taking care of yourself. When blood sugar gets too high, what happens? You know, uh, or if you are using Jarnius or Farsiga or anything like that, we made videos about those too. It is very easy to become dehydrated. This can bring on a whole slew of problems and fast. Make sure you stay proactive about monitoring your hydration levels and drinking plenty of fluids. Yeah, just look at your urine. If your urine is dark, you are dehydrated. You keep your urine in light color. Believe us, when we say that dehydration has no place in the life of someone managing diabetes, we are right about it. Did you know that emotional eating is another one? Due to stress can be a huge problem for diabetics because stress can cause blood glucose levels to be higher than what is considered normal. Overeating also in response to difficult emotions can be especially detrimental for those living with diabetes. Unfortunately, the cycle of stress leading to emotional eating and in turn causing more stress is um, one that many individuals with diabetes find themselves spiraling into and out of control. So if you or someone you love suffers from diabetes, it is really important to discuss ways to help manage these overwhelming emotions without resorting to unhealthy food habits.
Now, stress does not only feel bad, it can actually affect your body in a serious way. When we experience stress, the body releases cortisol and other steroids to help us cope. Unfortunately, this response can have unintended consequences like raising your blood sugar levels or your blood pressure levels exponentially. If your blood sugar is too high for a sustained period of time, you may end up with diabetes if you don't already have one or end up in the hospital from too high blood sugars. We don't want that. So if you are feeling particularly stressed lately, it is important to manage it as soon as possible. Don't ignore it. Don't try to cover it up. Whether it is through mindfulness, meditation, exercise, or talking with a friend, there are many coping strategies that can help reduce the negative physical impacts of stress on your body. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We really worked hard to make it informative and fun. Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment. We would love to hear from you. If there is someone special in mind who needs a dose of entertainment or information, be sure to share this video with them so that they can also enjoy too. Thanks again for watching. I want you to stay happy and healthy.